Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your Minx back with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about, I'm gonna give y'all some tips on how to detach from the outcome. Y'all know your girl is all about giving y'all practical tips to apply these principles of manifestation. So we're gonna talk about detaching the outcome, what that looks and feels like. And yeah, let's get into it. If it's your first time here, go ahead and subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, top two on a not two. When it comes to these type of manifestation videos, we are growing like wild. Fire. I don't know what Drake was talking about. We love new friends, so welcome. Go ahead and subscribe and let's get into it. <laughs> okay, so you've decided you want something, right? The first thing I want to mention, right, is like, so I'll give you an example. So I had one of my subscribers who commented and they were like, I've been trying really hard to manifest winning the lottery so that I can pay off my debt. That right there is an example of when we become maybe too attached to the outcome. You know, we decide that we have a need and it's important that we decide not to decide um, how that need will be fulfilled because that's the thing. You're working with a limited perspective. You're working with your physical perspective. And whenever we're able to surrender and allow things to happen, what we're doing is we're giving space for the aerial view to come into place. Because when you can see something from the top looking down, 10 times out of 10 you can see things that you can't see just here on the ground looking around you you know so that's what the path of least resistance is and think about the path of least resistance i talked about this in my other video you don't know you're on the path of least resistance until what you want has manifested and you look back and you're like oh that was the path of least resistance you know the path of least resistance is something we should think about in past tense but um i'm just saying all that to say it's really important that we detach from the outcome. Stop thinking that or deciding you know how things are gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's really important that we accept how relaxing this concept is, right? Because how relaxing is it to be able to have everything you want and not have to figure out how? Like, I don't know about y'all, but that's such just a liberating idea. Like, dang, like, I don't even have to, child, I'm spoiled. I can have anything I want and I don't even have to figure out how. So in that example with my subscriber, rather than him saying, I want to win the lotto so that I can do this, it's more important that he put it out there. I want to pay off my debt. I want to pay off my student loans because that's really what you want. So um, detached from the outcome just looks like not thinking you know how what you want is going to manifest for you. And it's so hard for us a lot of times because we're naturally in a masculine dominant energy. We're in a very like analytical because we live in a masculine energy type of society. You know, this is a patriarchal society. So we're very analytical, very like by the book kind of logical thinking, you know, and we so often we don't leave room for imagination and just things to surprise us. And that's what we have to do when it comes to detaching from the outcome. Y'all know my favorite affirmation is I surrender to the infinite number of ways that things will work out for me because they will. But also it's important that we recognize that life is full of surprises and that's the fun of life is that you never know like what is ready to pop, what delicious experience is ready to pop into your experience. So it's really important to live in the moment, right? And a beautiful exercise to help you do this so you know how like let's say you go to the movies and you go to see a new movie and you're sitting there and the whole time you're watching the movie what are you doing a lot of times you're trying to analyze the plot you're trying to figure out how's this gonna go woo -dee -woo -dee -woo. you know you just you start to try to guess how everything is gonna end what I want to challenge you to do is watch something new. Watch something you haven't watched before, whether it's a new episode of the show you watch, a new movie or something like that. And start to notice that urge that you have to like decide what's going to happen or speculate what's going to happen. I mean, yeah, it can be fun to do that. So I'm not saying just completely like never do that. But I'm just using that as an example of like what attaching to the outcome looks like 
in a more practical, physical, like, way or everyday kind of way. Because y'all know that's what I specialize in. As far as manifestation, you two, I feel like we all have different things that we're here to bring to the table. There are some of us who specialize in feminine energy. There's some of us who um, are like, and there's some people like me who I'm a Mac of all trades. You know, I spe can specialize in a lot of things, but I'm all about practical application of these things and making concepts that may seem difficult to understand a little easier to understand and so I feel like this example as far as watching something new without commenting and trying to guess the plot and you know formulate your opinion like how is it going to end and stuff like that that exercise gets you in the habit of detaching from the outcome so definitely do that now the next thing that I want to share with y'all this is a gem I actually made this up it's called the a3 method I'm so evolutionary. I'm just, I'm so innovative. I'm here to make manifestation YouTube better and easier. But it's called the A3 method. And the A3 method is a triangle. It's awareness meets acceptance, transforms into alchemy. What does this look like, right? So this looks like, okay, you said, I would like to become debt free, right? We're gonna stick with the same example. I would like to pay off all my student loans. Okay, that's the one. Now, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have your ego and you're gonna have these parts that are like, how though? Like, and start trying to, start trying to forcefully make actions happen and make actions give you the outcome that you want. That's naturally what would happen a lot of times. But that's why the first A is for awareness. And that's what meditation actually is supposed to teach us to do. It's not to teach us to necessarily quiet our thoughts, although that is the byproduct of living your life in a meditative state. But meditation is also to get you in the habit of practicing awareness, okay? So whenever you're able to become aware, like, okay, I said I wanted to be debt free and pay off my student loans. And then you're able to become aware when you're trying to create the solution instead of allow the solution, okay? Because it's not your job. Stay in your place. It is not your job to figure out the how. It's your job to know the what and to wait with patience and expectation. That's all you have to do. It's so easy. It's hard, but it's it's really easy all you have to do. You don't have to rack your brain about the how. But whenever we um, use meditation to become more self-aware, we're able to recognize when our thoughts are running away from us and when our thoughts are rooted in masculine energy and trying to figure out how, how, how. And so whenever you're able to become aware of that, you're able to move to the next step and accept it, right? Because so often when we have these negative thoughts, our first inclination is to be like, no, 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 no. And we want to push the thought away. That's absolutely not what we want to do. We want to bring that thought in, that thought that's rooted in the outcome and starting to like worry about the how and become pessimistic. We want to invite that thought in for a hug. A nice little, hey, how you doing? I, I, I know that you want to know how it's going to work out. Hell, I want to know how. But... All it is is enough for us to know it will work out. We don't have to figure out how. That's not our job to figure out how. All we know is that it will, it must happen. It already has happened. It is mine. I'm in the timeline where my ultimate fulfillment or my ultimate fulfillment is my reality, you know? And that's the second part of the A, which is accepting it in. So often we wanna push these thoughts out that contradict what we want to manifest, invite them in for a hug. Have a little chat. Like, hey, hey, I see you over there worrying about how this is going to work out for us. And that is not our job. It's not our job to worry about how, okay? It's our job to just chill out. And then from there, the alchemy that happens is the transformation within yourself. Because what happens is when we bring the, that those dark aspects, those worrisome aspects, when we bring them into the light, we transform them and we give them love and we give them reassurance and let them know it's okay. It's kind of like when a kid, let's say you have a kid who's scared to ride a bike or scared to do something. You would talk to that kid in a nice way, right? That's basically what you're doing. You're talking to your inner child because that's your inner critic that comes in. And it's like, how, 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 how? 
that's your inner child worried and being pessimistic. So you gotta just bring it in for a hug. You have to accept, okay? So that that can alchemize into empowerment. And then what'll end up happening is you'll notice that those thoughts become fewer and fewer. And then once you're able to really quiet your inner chatter and quiet that inner critic, what you're doing is you're getting out of the way, okay? Because we spend so much time in the way. Because why? The next part of this is, why would you question what already is? You wouldn't. Now would you? Like, you wouldn't be like, how is this water? Why is this water? Is this water? Is this water? It's water. And I'm drinking it. It's water. It just is. Like, you don't question how water became water. You just accept that it is, right? Okay, so that's the same thinking we have to apply to what it is that we want to manifest. You don't have to know how, but you have to shift into it is, okay? And whenever you're vibrating in what already is, what you'll notice is um, what, what you're doing is you're aligning yourself with that thing. Because the thing about uh, manifesting anything you want is you have to stay out of the way, okay? You've got to stay, move, Get out the way, okay? If you see me on the highway, get the out of my way, okay? For real, that's what that's what your spirit guys is telling you. Like, we on the highway, get the out of my way, okay? So stop questioning what is, you know, and start to shift into the and start to shift into the energy that it is already. And that's just that on that big poop. But overall, detaching from the outcome is just allowing things to happen for you. Detaching from the outcome is all about recognizing that it is not your job to figure out the how. It's not your job. And, and if you're spending all this time figuring out the how and trying to attach yourself to how it's gonna happen and the outcome of it all, you're not giving the universe, source, God, whatever you call it, okay? You're not giving things a chance to happen for you. You're not allowing the space for it to come in because you're so focused on where it is and how it's gonna happen. Surrender, surrender, surrender. A3 that thing, become aware of your doubtful thoughts, accept them in and give them a little pep talk and then watch them alchemize and transform into just relaxation and getting your ass up out of the way. Beat, beat, get out the universe's way so that it can do what it needs to do for you because the universe is obsessed with you. The universe wants to see you win. God, source, whatever you wanna call it, like your success is preordained. You came here to be successful. Successful. You came here to be abundant. You came here to have all of these fabulous, wonderful, delicious experiences in your life. You did not come here to suffer. You did not come here to struggle. You did not come here to worry. You did not come here to be anxious, okay? You came here to surrender and allow just really beautiful things to be a part of your life experience. So detaching from the outcome is how we get out of the way and allow those things to manifest for us. And I am so happy to be able to give y'all these tips as far as detaching from the outcome. Comment down below and let me know what resonated with y'all. Thank you so much. That's really all I have for this video, y'all. Uh, thank y'all so much for subscribing and supporting me. Make sure you're commenting down below and let me know how I can support you. And you already know you are powerful. You are wonderful. You are one of the greatest creations by the greatest almighty creator and you better remember it, that and you better start walking like it and you better start talking like it and get out of the way and recognize that you are spoiled and things want to manifest for you and everything is already yours um so yeah just that little gem some nuggets you already know baby um i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here because i'm about to spend some time with my uncle hang out with my family a little bit you know to a little something but yeah i love y'all so much I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. <laughs>